Hi, I'm Dr. Chris Welsh at Eaton Chiropractic. We are located in Cobb County, Georgia, and we ask here at Eaton Chiropractic for you to think, feel, and do differently. The same old, same old just isn't gonna cut it anymore. And our job here at Eaton Chiropractic is to help you elevate your health. Many people come to us for symptoms and pains and those sorts of things. And it's amazing when they do. And it's a miracle every time someone walks through our door and we are grateful for that. But the biggest miracle is when we see them get to get their lives back. And that's what I would like to discuss with you today is getting your life more fulfilled and doing more and feeling more and actually experiencing more of your life. And we do that with a program, a, a concept, something that's gonna cost you nothing except a change in your mindset. It's called the 21 day week. Uh, my friends at TLC introduced me to this a couple of years ago and it's been life changing for me. And because it's been change, life changing for me, I wanna share that with you in hopes that it might change the way that you function as well in your life. I'm super busy. I'm a mom, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a wife. I do a lot of work in the community. And for the last 20 years, I've put myself in the back seat and made my priorities a little differently than I now know that they should be. So the way that I've been able to accomplish the things that I do is something called the 21 day week. I'm gonna share that with you here today because I believe it's gonna change your life as well. And again, it's gonna cost you nothing except a change in your mind. So let's go through this. Who here would love to have 21 days in a week to get a million things done. I know I would. So let's start with how we're going to do that. There are how many days in the week? Seven, right? So we're gonna take each one of those days and we're gonna divide them into three. So three times seven is 21, right? Old school math. But each one of those days has very specific compartmentalized times that we do things in. So let's go over day one first, because this is the most important time. I'm gonna list out the three days for you, and then we're going to break them down. So day one is me. Day one is all about me, me, me. Day two is all about them. Everyone else in your world. Day three, is all about us, all about you and your family, your significant other, whoever it is that you share life with, okay? So we got it, day one, me, 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 me. Day two, them. Day three, us, got it? All right, so day one, what does, a day, what does day one even mean? What does me even mean? I know that as a mom, a wife, an entrepreneur, a community volunteer that a lot of times the last person to be taken care of is me. And I am going to contend that we've got that completely backwards. I am going to contend that we need to not be selfish because there's nothing selfish about taking care of ourselves. So day one is all about filling up our own cup, making sure we've got everything that we need. I was listening to an amazing speaker last week and she was talking about the importance of filling up our own cups. We've all heard it. I've heard it a million times and it never really made sense to me until she spoke it in this way. And she said, I want you to think of your life like a teacup, like a regular teacup. I've always thought of like the big like pint glasses. Think of your body and your life as a teacup and that teacup is sitting on a saucer. Once you fill your teacup up, Everything that flows over, when you overflow your teacup, it falls into that saucer. All of that overflow that goes into that saucer is where you can feed everything else. That's where you feed your children. That's where you feed your husband. That's where you feed your team members. That's where you feed your community. But if you are feeding everybody, if you're pouring out of your cup, putting it in the saucer and feeding everybody else, you're doing yourself no favor. So let's talk about what does that mean to fill up our cup in day one? 
Research has shown the most important thing you can do every morning is move your body. I know, I know, but that's what we need to do. And guys, you've got to stop making this difficult. It's really not hard. I need you to move your body every morning for five minutes, eight maybe. Um, you don't have to go marathon training like I used to do. You don't have to go to the gym for 45 minutes and, and sweat it all out. I need you to move your body in some way, shape, or form every single morning, and that has to be non-negotiable. Now, one of the new things I've started using personally for myself is there's a Better Me app. Um, I love it. It's super slow stretches somatic work and those kinds of things. Maybe that'll work for you, maybe it won't. So let's go in and figure out what works for you. You might like to just stretch. You might like to run on your um, treadmill. You might like to jump on your Peloton. I don't care what it is, move your body. Um, go for a walk. There's no reason, there's no excuse that you cannot move your body for eight to 10 minutes every single morning when you wake up. So I think I've hammered that one hard enough for you right now. Number one is, Move your body, all right? Eight to 10 minutes. Number two, remember the conversation we had about gas cards? It's gratitudes. We have got to start our day with a gratitude. One, two, three, I don't care how you do it. I don't care if you use our gas cards. I don't care if you have a journal. I don't care if you pop something in your iPhone. I don't care if you text somebody you love one or two or three things you're grateful for, but it needs to come out of your brain and into some sort of media, whether that's paper or electronic or whatever, okay? So number one, we're moving our body. Number two, we're going to express gratitude, all right? Number three is a hard one for people, and I'm gonna ask you to really not blow off this step because this is a very important step. And it's a hard one for so many people you need to journal. I have just been shown a way that we can journal just for three minutes. Anybody can do anything for three minutes. Grab a pad of paper that you like, keep it somewhere. Um, sometimes I'll even do mine in Notability on my iPad. Um, iPhone has just come out with a journaling app that will actually send you prompts. It doesn't matter what you journal about. It doesn't matter how you journal. It doesn't matter if you draw. I don't care how you do it. You just need to move things out of your brain and onto paper. So we're gonna ask you to journal for three minutes. You can do three minutes. Do one minute on gratitudes, one minute on actions, one minute on a dream that you have. I don't care how you journal. Journal about you know something your child did the day before or something nice that you witnessed. Let's just journal and start to get those things out of our body. Those little things that we do every single day are gonna be those foundations and building blocks that are gonna elevate us to that next level. So day one is all about me, 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 because I need to fill my cup up because I cannot serve anyone else until my cup is filled. You cannot serve someone from an empty cup. I'm gonna say that again. You cannot serve someone from an empty cup. Um, everyone's heard the old adage, when you're on the airplane, when the oxygen mask falls down, you put the oxygen mask on yourself first. You have to take care of you first. And I know mostly for the women who are listening to this, we have been told that's selfish. We need to be selfless. We need to give, 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 give. And honestly, it's gonna to lead to resent, resent, resent. So let's stop it. Let's stop the insanity and let's just take 15 minutes before the kids wake up, before our husband wakes up, before we're doing anything else, and we're just going to move our body, journal, and we're going to do our gratitudes. Cool? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, now we have filled our cup up, and we're overflowing, and it's in our saucer, right? So that saucer is where now we get to serve, and service is so important. This is where you're going to be doing your job, right? So you're going to be doing whatever it is that fills you up, whether you're volunteering and you're retired, whether you're working in a school, whether you're volunteering, whether you're working in an office, whether you're working in healthcare, whatever it is, you serve every single day. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make sure our cup is filled up 
so we can serve appropriately. I really love my favorite thing is to go and have this as a continuing ed talk or a talk in our, in our teacher schools, especially during our, um, our teachers weeks and those kinds of things where we're really pouring into our teachers. Because if our teachers are filled up and loved on, then they take care of our kids and that's how we change the world. That's how we change our community. So the day two is all about service to them, but it can only work if we're serving ourselves first fair and that's honestly the biggest part of our day so at the end of the day when we're ready to go home we have to do a transition if anyone's ever done a triathlon or a race like that the biggest hardest parts of those races are the transitions and i find for me the transitions are the hardest the the transition from day one of me into day two of serving them um, i use my my ride into the office as my transition time to make sure that I'm done being for me and I'm ready to be for them. And then on my drive home, I go from, I'm done serving everyone else and now I'm going to enter my home that is sacred, where my family is, where my closest people are, and the people who love me the most are there. And how fair is it if I walk in on the phone, carrying all the stuff from the day into my home and infecting what I've got going on in the house? It's not fair. It's not fair to my husband. It's not fair to my children. And it's not fair to my heart. So what we need to do is make sure we're transitioning. And that may mean that I spend 10, 15, 20 minutes in my car in the driveway wrapping up the end of the day. Yeah. And my husband's like, you're in the car for a really long time. It's like, yeah, I wanted to be present for you when I came home. So... We walk in the door and that last part of the day is the best part of the day because I've filled my cup, I've served my community, and now I get to relax and rejuvenate and refill my heart with my family. And that's going to be whatever it looks like for you. I would strongly suggest you consider some sort of plan in your home where you are leaving your devices somewhere else doing the best you can to eat dinner together as a family, doing things that, that help you connect on a deeper level with the, the people that matter most. That's what I've got for you today, my friends. This is the 21 day week. In a quick review, let's go over it. Day one, it's all about me. I'm gonna fill my cup so my cup overflows and the saucer is full so I can go into day two, which is feeding them. Once I'm feeding them and taking care of my service in the community, my practice, all of those things, I'm going to transition in my car on the way home. And before I get home, I am going to get rid of all the rest and wrap up all the ends of the days of service and go in and be fully present for my family and do all of those things. I can still be fully present at a baseball game. I can still be fully present at a wrestling match or lacrosse team. Um, I can still be fully present in all of those things. It doesn't have to be a quiet womb at the house. It has to be being fully present with those that matter the most for you. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm so grateful that you are open to these conversations, and I appreciate you tuning in. So, again, I'm Dr. Chris Welsh from Eaton Chiropractic. We're in Cobb County, Georgia, and at Eaton Chiropractic, we ask you to think, feel, and do differently. Thank you so much.